I can feel it somewhere inside haunting. Like hey guys, it's Tyler Bundy with the Virtual Real Estate Agent, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to start your first transaction with this uh, listing transaction template. So, simply, you're going to add a card to whatever section that you're adding. So, typically, if you're adding a transaction, it's either going to be as a pre listing or as a new contract. If it's a listing, it's going to be going as a, as a pre-listing. So you'll select Add Card. You put the address of the property that you're going to add, and you hit Enter. Now you've added a new card for a file for you to work on. Now, one thing that you do need to make sure you are aware of is that you will now have to add the task list associated with each card. Now before we go into that, let me just make it clear that if you have a contract for a buyer and you're, or you have a new contract for a seller and it just sold before you put it up on the market, you're simply going to go under new contract and add another card, 4567, test, or, um, Star Street. Now. Let's go in and take a look what you do from here. Once you have the card, you're going to open the card, and then you're going to go under checklist. You're going to select the checklist and go to your templated checklist. Now, if you scroll all the way to the right, you're going to see templated emails and templated cards. Now, the buyer templated checklist is right here and then the seller templated checklist all of the checklist items are all here everything is there it's all in one spot but we don't want to just copy that one because it's too convoluted it's there's too much going on so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our file or our card select checklist and we're going to copy items from and we're going to go all the way to the seller templated checklist. Now you'll see here that it says active listing checklist, active listing checklist, pre-listing, pre-listing, seller new contract. Now it says those names because each of those names are associated with each of the lists that I have here. There is a checklist that is appropriate for that list. So we're in the pre-listing list. So if we go to checklist, copy from, scroll down to the seller templated checklist, you'll see pre-listing input new listing and pre-listing forms required. So we're gonna add the forms required and then we're gonna go back up and add the inputting new listing. And we simply add it. And voila, you now have your checklists for this card that we just started. You will have the instructions on what to do to get the next checklist right here. Follow these instructions, move the card over, add the new checklist. And that is it. Now you have the same thing applies for a purchase. We're under new contract. 4567 Star Street, we go into that, we go into the checklist. We're looking under the buyer templated checklist and we see buyer new contract. That's the list that we're currently in. We simply add that list and there it is, voila. It is all there. Now you're able to modify any of these and all of these add to, take away things that are appropriate for you. You do what is best for your uh, specific um, file, okay? And that is how you start your files here on the Trello board. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment below or reach out. We'll be sure to answer them. Other than that, we will see you in the next video. Take care.